gosh. That is actually a gorgeous color, actually, come to think of it. As a bag, as a piece, this is stunning. Oh my god, that's so cute. I didn't see that one before. I totally forgot, guys. This is crazy bag that is, like, literally a lima. Hey, guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. A few days ago, a lovely subscriber reached out to me about this upcoming collaboration with Suna Fujita and Lueve. You know, I love the artistic collaborations that Lueve does, William Morris, uh, Joe Brainard. Also, of course, there's a lot of the Studio Ghibli collaborations, which are so adorable. But uh, this time, uh, the Suna Fujita collaboration also looks extremely cute. So let's look at some of the sneak peeks that I found on Instagram and Little Red Book today. And guys, let me know if you want to buy any of these bags because they are extremely tempting. I am sick of spending money all the time, guys. So I'm going to try and resist, but... Oh my gosh, some of the bag charms are just, you know, if you just want to pick up something small, the bag charms are so cute. But Suna Fujita, well, I didn't know anything about, to be honest, but I've learned that they're ceramic artists. They've, they've got a son, they're an artistic couple, it's not just one person, and they paint uh, on ceramics. And they're known for their uh, whimsical creatures and nature and they are inspired by their childhood and their son. So when you look at some of the designs on these Lueve bags, they're reflective on some of some of their art that they do on the porcelains or the ceramics that they paint. And I do think that their style does go with Lueve. If you look at, you know, the Studio Ghibli collaborations or Ghibli, or, they always have a bit of a sense of humor to them and they're, they're just a little bit unique. You know, that's not the typical like Pokemon or, Hello Kitty, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's a, something a little bit more under the radar, which I really like. And uh, I didn't, I, I wasn't aware of Suna Fujita. I think they're a Japanese couple. Um, but now I think that uh, people will look into their work themselves as well, like their ceramic work. So first bag that caught my eye was this hammock bag. There's always seems to be like a signature hammock bag to some of these strong collaborations. Like if we look at the Totoro collection, for example, uh, the hammock was just to die for, even with the uh, recent like Studio Ghibli collaborations, the Howl's Moving Castle hammock, the um, Spirited Away hammock. Like this tends to be the bag that is the most iconic of the collection, in my opinion, it tends to sell out the fastest. And this one in particular features a beautiful tree and a panda and a a little girl or a boy with a little bird. The thing I love about Lueve is that they're really known for their leather marquetry, which is basically very fine pieces of leather uh, glued together to create a picture. I do have some leather marquetry pieces from Lueve. Um, it seems like this is a print on the leather, but it's actually they finally cut leather, which, you know, it's not as easy to do as you think. So they've done this again on this hammock bag and it looks like it's in satin calfskin which you have to be a little bit careful with but it does create I guess like a smooth finish and if you look up on the leather marquetry it has a little it features a little bit of stitching around it as well which is what they did with the Howl's Moving Castle collection. Uh, this is from the Spirited Away collection but now they've started to do stitching around it and I feel like it could be because of the satin calfskin. Uh, I'm not too sure. However, it just it just looks amazing. This combination of the khaki and that panda, I mean, that is stunning. And to top it off, the inside has this super cute lining with little pandas inside and they've even featured some more little pictures on the leather on the inside, which I really like. So there's a lot of attention to detail with this bag. I'm sure it will sell out straight away just because it is such a unique piece. And I think even if you aren't a fan of Lueve or Suna Fujita, I just think as a bag, as a piece, this is stunning. Okay, next bag. This one is a little bit more simple. It features a lima, I think the animal is called. And it's another hammock, but it has less leather marquetry on it. So I assume it won't be as expensive as the previous one I talked about. It's a neutral color. So, you know, like a tan. I think this could be popular too, just because it's a neutral. However, I don't think it will be as hyped as the previous one, which was just like, whoa, well, that one was so like epic. Then there are a few Puzzle Edge bags in this collection as well. I didn't see any 
classic puzzle bags. I did make a video about how Loewe are phasing out the classic puzzle bag and they'll be reintroducing more puzzle edge designs. These puzzle edge bags are in the satin calfskin from what I can, what I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but what I'm guessing is it looks like satin calfskin, which is a little bit more delicate, but they seem to be favoring that leather for these uh, special collections, but I quite like how they've used, um, they haven't done leather marquetry just on one area, they've done it on many areas of the bag and it just looks, it gives it a little bit more of a special touch. Love this one, this uh, khaki one with the panda and then the little leaves coming down, that is just way too cute with gold hardware and the lima, or oh, definitely the panda animation is my favorite. Let me know what yours is, guys, if you're into it. Then you've got this beautiful icy blue color with the penguins. This is actually my probably my second favorite. I love the color. I love the silver hardware. Oh my gosh, that is actually a gorgeous color, actually, come to think of it. Then this is, okay, this one's really nice as well. It's like a split color puzzle with like a light gray, dark gray, and then it has this like very interesting like root uh, character on the side of the bag with a, looks like a platypus like swimming in the ocean. Yeah, I mean this one's actually probably, out of all the puzzle bags, I think I like the panda the best, number one. Number two is probably the gray one with that weird root uh, character, and then number three is the penguins, yeah. Oh my gosh, but the hammock was stunning as well. Now they've also got puzzle tote bags, really good price point for the puzzle tote and I feel like it's very on trend. A lot of people are going for those minimal tote style bags. This one features the Lima characters and there's also one available in the icy blue. Now just for your information, I don't know if Loewe is going to drop this whole range all at once on the website or whether they're going to do a few drops throughout like the year or something. Who knows, but this is just literally pictures that I found on Little Red Book. Maybe they won't even release everything from these sneak peeks. Who knows, like, we're yet to see. And actually, to be honest, I don't know when they're launching this, but I'm going to assume around the holiday season. Uh, we'll have to find out more details to come. There's a flamenco here, again, in that gorgeous, like, khaki green. And the thing that is really cool about this bag is that the animation is actually on the inside of the bag just like slightly hidden it's a little bit more subtle probably not as overpowering on your outfit as if the pandas were just on the front of the bag so just a little bit of a quirky detail there they've also got it in the tan with the lemurs and then there's these uh baskety style bags like uh raffia bags really cute so it has this root character i think these will be popular as well because they have very strong branding on them uh, and they, the characters are quite distinct as well, and they're, what is that little lamb? Yeah, that's really cute. There's also a green version with the panda. No, I think I prefer the grey one. Oh, oh my gosh, that's stunning too. So we've got another hammock bag here in grey, but it looks like with this one the sides have canvas and then some embroidery. I really love this actually and less satin calfskin. I'm not a huge fan of satin calfskin myself, but it's nice that they have a little bit more texture to this bag with the fabric. I really like the embroidered touch, and this color is gorgeous, like this light dove gray. Very easy to match with things. Oh my god, that's so cute. I didn't see that one before. There's a lot of puzzle edge in this collection. Uh, okay, so we've got the gray with the little bears and a little dog, and then the side has a little animal as well. Oh, this one is really nice, actually. Oh, I actually, my favorite is, I don't know, I really like the hammock with the embroidery, but that's really nice as well. Got another puzzle tote here in this beautiful cream. This one looks like, again, it's like a textile fabric and it features embroidery as opposed to the leather marquetry. Love the little kind of rainbow color scheme happening here with the tan handles. Very cute. I mean, might get a little bit dirty because it's white fabric, but I think the effect of it is stunning. Okay, so let's get to the bag charms because there's a lot here. So they're actually quite oversized. When you, If you look at this picture of this uh, grey puzzle bag here, 
there is that root bag charm and he's really big on the bag so honestly if you don't want to buy a bag i would just buy a bag charm and like put it on any bag that you have because i think it will add such like a random and cute little character to your bag oh my gosh like i would even put this on my like kelly bag or something or my birkin like i just think it is such a cute little um piece uh i believe this is made out of felt looks like and it also has some little leather pieces it's not going to be cheap, but oh my gosh, I just, that is way too adorable. And it's just, it's also kind of ugly, which I like. Oh, okay. So there's also a seal felt that looks really beautiful on the icy blue hammock here. And there's a penguin charm. This one has a little bit more of a lanyard effect. So I think this penguin you can also wear as a necklace, which actually could be more usable more practical because that way you can wear it as a charm but then if you realize oh you know i don't really love this as a bag charm you could also wear it as a pendant which i think could add a little bit of flair to your outfit as well and i just love the way they've done this it almost looks like origami or something the way that they've created this penguin shape okay so we also have this um what is this called hammock hobo i think i can't remember actually is it I don't know, I forgot what this bag is called, but it comes in the grey and it has the bear on it. These bags tend to be on the lower price point compared to like the puzzle bag as well. So this could also be a nice little bag to pick up if you don't want to like break the bank, but you just want a bag from this collection. This one will be on the lower price point. And let's just finish off the bag charms because I'm getting distracted. There's also a lemur that's adorable as well with leaves and his little tail wrapped around the leather there's this character here which is really interesting it's like a is that a sloth or something with a little kid with a bear okay that's actually really cute i love how there's like a like three characters in one charm and the yellow is very striking as well and then it's finished off with a little kind of dice uh anagram thing at the top yeah, that, oh, actually, that's really cute. Oh, and this one's really fun as well. There's a little panda on a little kid, and he's just, like, playing. So, yeah, you can see the childhood influence here, just the very innocent and, like, imaginative um, kind of feel to the characters. Uh, there's a seal again. Oh, this one's really funny. So this is a bear, and then, like, a little kid just, like, stuck to the bear. But the kid, oh, his little leg is going like that. That's cute. That one's funny, too. Oh yeah, the, I really like this weird root character. It's just so, it's kind of creepy, but I kind of like it. I think that's, is that it, guys? Oh, oh no, I totally forgot, guys. There's this crazy bag that is like literally a lima, and it's fluffy, and it has this massive tail, like it's massive, and then it's like a shoulder bag. So that I think will sell out as well, just because it's so ridiculous and hilarious. That's crazy. And then I did find a few SLGs as well, if you just want to pick up an SLG. There's an SLG in this design. So it's got the card pockets here and then the zippy coin kind of feature. This one is in yellow with that weird, I don't know if it's an otter or a sloth or something, but it has like the otter with the kid and the bear. I quite like that in the yellow. That's very like a pop color. Great for an SLG. And oh, did I find any more SLGs? Oh yes, so there's also going to be a few other designs in this layout as well. So we've got the penguin, the lemur, and the pandas. I think I like the yellow one the best. And then there's more of a zippy wallet. These are so cute. Oh my god, that is way too cute. Yeah. Oh. What else do we have? Oh, we've got uh, this style wallet too. They're going to do. So with the panda and then it's biting the little kid's butt. Okay, that's hilarious. So the layout of that wallet will be, I assume, um, like this, which is quite good. I need to use this wallet more. It also has a coin purse there, which is quite nice. It's very soft. Um, the leather is gorgeous. Seems like this is going to be in a similar leather. Could be in a smooth. Uh, it looks like the same leather as mine. So this kind of texture. And what else? Yeah, that's about all I can see for now. I assume there's going to be more smaller the goods but uh yeah let me know what you think of this collection guys it's honestly tempted me with the bag charms uh yeah so anyways let me know what you think and thanks for watching my video today hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys really soon bye